Well, some free advice. Watch out for the black eyed Sarah. She's got the clap. <laughs> How you doing there, partner? Aren't you a long streak of piss? Excuse me? I said, you're ugly. Are you serious, mister? You pissing me off. I tell you what, say one more thing and I'm gonna beat your ass right here. I feel sorry for your mama. Wow, look at you! Ha, you asked for it, boy! <laughs> Oh, that for my boy. <laughs> How are you doing there, partner? That's right. I'm handy. Yeah. Get out of here. We just, uh, we talking. We'll be by the saloon later. <laughs> now, you lucky ass mother sucker. Because I would beat your ass if there weren't so many damn witnesses in town. I don't need the law on me. You understand? Now, you have yourself a nice day. I'm gonna go here in this general store and buy me something. While you're there, buy yourself a new face. That's it! Hey! <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> yeah, come on! <laughs> yeah, this looks right about right. <laughs> What's going on? God damn it! What the hell are you doing out here? There's no bar out here! Come here! No! Alright. Check to see if it's coast clear. Is it coast clear? Looks like it. Alright, let's get this done. Yeah! 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 Whoa. I see what you're doing. Red Dead Redemption 2. It's got a lot to live up to in my mind. The first game earned one of my first 10 out of 10 legendary ratings. Now what's all this commotion over? Oye, que paso? Now you wouldn't shoot a guy with glass now, would you? It's taken me forever to get this review up because frankly, I wanted to 100% the whole thing and then maybe even wait for the multiplayer component to come out before giving my complete opinion on it. But you know, I've waited long enough, I'm falling too far behind and I can make a separate video for that component once it releases. I also wanted to do a few new parodies with some real horses, but that didn't really work out at this ranch, so it's important I get up my opinion of one of my favorite franchises, regardless of whether or not I nail the parodies. Sorry about that guys. So, how does the game live up to the first? Well, there are so, so many improvements. I'd say nearly every aspect of the game has been uh, touched and improved with a few exceptions and I'll get to those. But I mean, if I had to make a pro column for this game, it would like simply say everything. There's just too many good things to list here without this video being like an hour and a half long. So I'll point out some of the important ones. 
What will strike you right away is how impressive the graphics and attention to detail is, especially for console. Man, look at these graphics. And this is, Joe, this is fucking PS4. This looks as good as a fucking PC game. And I'm playing on a fucking years old hardware. I would love to see this game on PC, man. Ha! <laughs> drag his ass through the snow, Joe, look at this. <laughs> it is absolutely gorgeous. The lighting effects. Sure. Oh, damn, the Place lighting. Is with Ooh, light impressive. Sounded you like seen a this party. Let's go see. Follow me. That look good. The detail in the horse muscles and, and in their right. noses. My horse is awesome. Oh, look at his nose. That look good. The realistic snow and mud that you can walk around in. My hat keeps falling off, god damn it. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh, look at the water. That look good. And of course the horse balls. You gotta admire these horse ball physics. These balls will actually move left and right and sway and you can zoom on right on into, right on into balls. That look good. Balls. We just zoom in here. Oh, there you go, that's. There's your physics. He knew he was looking at him. He said, oh yeah, you want something to look at? But, okay, graphics are fine, but how about the new main character, Arthur Morgan? We obviously spend the most time with him. Well, he's thankfully got an interesting story and journey. I'd even say that maybe for me, Arthur was a better protagonist than John. It's kind of hard on the memory. And this just seems to be so much to his character. It may be a bit unfair, actually, as the game is longer and there's way more dialogue here in this game. But I just wanted to say I really enjoy playing as Arthur. He's right up there. <laughs> oh. Mm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's great, pardon. <laughs> The game really plays to its strengths that they, they marketed, this gang mechanic. As you go on missions with various members of your said gang, it will often pair you off and, and really let you get to know these new and old characters, allowing you to form a bond with them and actually care about some of them. Especially when the game starts to ramp things up and these people are put in actual danger. Shit happens. Help! Somebody help me! Get off the horse. Oh, shit! What the hell? Oh. You've just been had by Jennifer Jiggle. Jennifer who? Oh, shit! Goddamn bitch! Give me back my horse! Throughout six chapters and two long epilogues, I thought the story of Red Dead Redemption 2 did enough to entertain me all the way through. And while it may have lacked a bit of that dramatic finish, like the original Red Dead, and it kind of felt like its journey to some Cuban island was kind of, you know, pointless, just to mimic the Mexico missions in the original. By the end though, I felt it was all well worth the payoff. Though I do wish maybe, maybe, just maybe it could have ended with a slightly different ending. Some of it kind of feels like a retread of old ground in many ways, but it certainly justifies its namesake, Red Dead Redemption.
while it might not have the impactful story beats of the original, what it does have throughout and holds up in this version is the excellent dialogue. Not only is it extremely well written and appropriate for the time, but there are so many spoken lines here, it boggles the mind. Hats off to ya. Hell, during horse rides, I actually believe they recorded all their lines two ways. Like in Spider-Man, for when your partner's further down the road from you. I kind of tested it. Not quite. Good work back there, Arthur. Everything went okay? Few loose ends. Nothing major. And John? About what you'd expect. He's taking it hard. We are going to get that boy back. What are you waiting for? Get a move on, Arthur! What was you talking about before? We're going to get that boy back, whatever it takes. And just as in the original Red Dead, the fantastic various side missions don't even feel like side missions at all. They feel like mainline story missions with how interesting and varied they are. There she is. My beautiful wife. <laughs> oh, he's gonna get kicked in the face? Wave. Yep. <laughs> now you get to rob him. And again here, the world feels alive with so many side activities. Good ones, too. You can lose yourself for hours in poker, cleaning out your opponents. Again, just like last time. Ha! I beat you both! Pair of sixes! I win! You dumbass. A pair of sixes doesn't beat a full house. I said pair of sixes! <laughs> or new dominoes. I love playing dominoes with my grandpa. It's here. There's that five finger uh, fillet returning. There's hunting with detailed animal skinning. Uh, fishing that's got that old country feel. Now I hear you can buy him in a shop. Well, it wouldn't be quite so satisfying. Getting him with something shop bought. Easy for you to say, <laughs> but maybe I'm inclined to agree. And even a full-fledged theater show like in Grand Theft Auto with slide animations, magicians, and even Can-Can Girls! It's all really immersive and above and beyond the call of duty. But that's Rockstar for you. I spend hours and hours just browsing through catalogs, stocking up on appropriate items for longer journeys and gunfights, but also trying out various outfits and different haircuts, not only for the best looking Arthur, but also the most appropriate for the climate. This shit is crazy. Look at all this. Oh, holy shit, oh my god, look at the gun. The gun Listen, customization is me, amazing in this game. Oh, I'm gonna make this just like my actual freaking Peacemaker. Oh, this is so detailed and so cool. This is awesome. Love it. Yes, it's so nice looking. The next most impressive thing is the animations and physics. Arthur and everyone and everything in this world moves realistically and it feels so alive despite it being maybe a, a tad too sensitive which results in some hilarious horse crashes early in the game when you're trying to get used to the fact that if you barely brush against something at speed you're gonna fly off! I mean I heard his bear growl just now so... <laughs> Kill your new horse? <laughs> you alright, boy? That horse is not happy with you. Oh, you alright, boy? You're alright, It's alright. It's alright. Now, that's not to say I didn't deserve some of the falls I took, because I certainly did, and it is always super funny. And I suck at shooting. Fucking. Fuck! Oh shit! Don't fight! Don't! 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 
But it can be a bit frustrating though when the controls are so deep and complex and varied that use is the same button for things that will get you accidentally into a fight and the law wanting to kill you for a simple accident. Right. Let's head back. What the? No! I, I pressed the horse! What the fuck? <laughs> the same fucking. Oh shit! No! God damn it, you fucking idiot! Why are you standing here? Fucking horse! Let's go! No! Oh! Fuck! God damn it! Oh! Uh, I wanna die! Just kill me! Kill me! I'm here! Kill me! Kill me! I'm here! The law is just way too sensitive before you become wanted! <laughs> I'm having a great time! <laughs> You're disturbing the peace! Uh, I'm sorry, officer. I, uh. I'll... Keep it down! Okay, I'll. Good morning, try sir. Try to keep it down. Uh, can I go this way? Quietly! Okay. Okay, hold. Aside from that, it's just a pleasure being in this world. I can really enjoy it, as you can tell, especially because I'm a fan of westerns. I'm from Texas, that's right. And this is AAA stuff at its finest. No bullshit microtransactions or broken off sections of the story sold as expansions or stupid season passes. Though guys, maybe some of that might come later when that Red Dead Online, but that remains to be seen, but credit must be given here. However, this game, right? It's a masterclass. The world, 10 out of 10. The graphics, 10 out of 10. The animation is 10 out of 10. The attention to detail is 10 out of 10. It only stumbles in very small ways here and there. This game immerses you to an insane degree, perhaps a bit too much going too far. Picking things up one at a time is realistic, but painstakingly slow. Looting enemy bodies takes ages, which results in your gang member friends constantly yelling at you while you're looting everything not nailed down. Ooh, yeah, each one of these guys are giving us something good. Health cure, revolver. Killing people actually pays off. The guy that fell off the water tower too. On you, yeah, well, you can wait a little longer, Dutch. I'm the leader of this here gang now. Look at me. Look at me. I'm the captain now. No, nah, fuck him. Oh. Fuck off. Got plenty more looting to do. Plenty. And the game has you constantly leaving your most valuable weapons in your horse's inventory because, because. That's the way it was in the Old West. Also, can I just say that I hate slow walking in camp. I can't get, get the, what the fuck? Why isn't it like, just go! Now it just fucking goes. There's some invisible walls and some fucking slowdown is pissing me off now. This game is fucking badass, but it's also pissing me off. I've always hated those types of restrictions, and this game has a few of those. I hate how this thing is slow right here. Why? Look, I'm... <laughs> what the f***? Why are you doing this, Rockstar? This is so f***ing stupid. Just give me the same f***ing movement controls in and outside this damn building. God damn it. God damn it. Like on missions, you need to do them in certain ways, okay? You can't get too creative or you'll get a fail state. I told you I was gonna be an outlaw. What? Failed. Oh, son of a bitch. What are you, what are you telling me? Sure? I can't do whatever I wanna do?
You're across the street from the sheriff's station. You just shot a guy in the back. Well, come on now. <laughs> Now that's fair, because it's trying to tell a story, but it may surprise some who think it's a little more open-ended than it is. It, it's not far cry in the way you can approach everything in that sense. But that's not even the worst one. The worst, worst, most unforgivable one is the lack of fast travel. It is so annoying. Maybe 50% of this game, freaking half of this game, is someone talking your ear off as you slam the X button with your thumb galloping your horse through long, long, long sections. You're all right, boy. What the? Hey there, mister. Mind if I join you for a ride? Well, oh, thank you. That's not mighty kind of you. Oh, God. I'm just your friendly bartender. Right. How are you doing today? I'm busy, mister. Busy doing what? Yeah, yeah, come on, boy. What are we doing? Why are you keeping up with me? Can we have some fun today? No. Oh, come on. Please leave me alone. It's stop talking. It's a fine horse. No. Did you name it? Please stop talking. What's his name? Oh, my. Mine's a penny. Oh. Me and her have been through a lot. <laughs> Why doesn't anybody want to talk to me? There's a cinematic camera that you can uh, use to auto-ride, but the game never really shows you specifically how to do it. It just mentions that it's there, which is gonna piss off a lot of people who, who may not ever find that function. So you gotta hold the button while putting the camera button on and then releasing, and you can stop ruining your damn thumb. If I didn't figure that out, I likely would have dropped the game a whole point with this shit. Agreed, that stuff gets annoying. And later in the game, you often feel discouraged from doing those far away side missions, knowing there's a massive long ride back with no fast travel on the way back. And even the extremely puzzlingly well hidden fast travel option in the game that it gives you, it's still just a one way trip. This choice, it was clearly made by the devs team to make trains and stagecoaches actually mean something to use and to show off the beautiful wildlife, mud and snow and freaking everything scenic here. But what they really should have done is just, if you want to restrict it, fine. Restrict it for the first half of the game. And then for the second half, when everybody's seen everything 40, 50 hours in, let us fast travel back and forth to cut all that horse padding for those that don't want it. And maybe it's to show the hardships of the old west, but lest the developers forget the real wild west, yeah, it was not really a fun place most of the time to be in. So yeah, try not to go too far, Rockstar. Yo, what is that smell, man? Oh, it smells like horse shit! That's because I got the deluxe edition. You did? Every PS4 comes with real life horse meat. Oh, what the fuck? Are you serious, Joe? You got a horse shit on my controller! Look, not only can you experience the Wild West, now you can breathe it too! Oh! Smell it! Oh, yeah. oh. Don't break the immersion! Okay! Don't break it! Oh. It wasn't good back then. <coughs> 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 And if it seems I'm now listing mostly negatives, it's because while these, they're ultimately rather small gripes, right? But they're even more apparent when everything else in this game is so damn good that I don't even want to stop playing it. It took me forever to do this review. I just want to go back to it. So I can understand how people will then clearly give this game a 10 out of 10. There are so many aspects of it that are legitimately 10 out of 10. However, for me, when a sequel comes out, I'm often a bit more harsh on it. Tough love, okay? So these small things started to stack up. Like how I oddly felt that the economy of the game breaks after one particular early game bank mission. Did you run into this? Thank you, gentlemen. That was stupid and dangerous. Thank you, Bill. We're alive and we're paid. Yeah. I don't see the problem. Yeah, and that is the problem. <laughs> Bill, Thank this you. is a very good take. I was so flush with cash that I didn't need to do any actual robbing after that. You know how Dutch's gang is supposed to be doing all the robbing. 
There's nothing to really use on your cash, nothing to buy, no houses, no property, even, not even really the many weapons. Sure, there's 59 weapons in the game, Woo -hoo! However, most of them are puzzlingly locked until you reach some certain story mission, or if you just so happen to get lucky to pay attention when, dro when somebody drops some and they pick it up. Why is everything else so painfully realistic in the game? And you're telling me I can't walk into a store and buy a gun that I'm staring at for sale right in front of me? Howdy, partner. I'd like to buy a weapon. Well, you came to the right place, partner. Um, y you work here too? Why, yes. But you're wearing a bartender outfit. Don't worry about it, all right? Whatever. Show me the, uh, the Cattleman Special. Oh, that thing's a beauty. Check it out. Yeah, that looks real nice. I'll buy it. No. What? I said no. No what? I got the money right here, right? Okay. And it's for sale, right? Yes. Well then take my money then! No! Why you little- See? They are willing to make gameplay concessions locking those off over realistic stuff for gameplay purposes so that puts into question some of the other design choices. Like the quest log is a little weak, uh, the map is undetailed, the inventory system a bit of a mess, and the gang donations, that coffer system, seems pointless by the end of the game, seeing as where you end up by its conclusion. And finally, the combat. Unfortunately, the, the stiff aiming of Rockstar Games seems a little untouched here. It's just better to snap to auto-aim and then snap to auto-aim over and over than trying to manually aim most of the time. And that is unless you're using the thankfully still awesome Deadeye system to shoot heads and even guns out of people's hands and shoot them right off. That's it, I've had enough of your shit! So, a lot of awesome, some small little annoyances, and we have finally arrived at the final verdict. Which, honestly, isn't even really a final verdict, since a free update is gonna bring a whole new second game to this package for free in multiplayer. And I hear there's some unique stuff that maybe I've been mentioned was missing that's gonna be packed in there. So, the rating may change, but I feel the final verdict for Red Dead Redemption 2 in its current single player release date at the time of this review is a 9 out of 10 with an easy badass seal of approval. Is it better in many ways than the original? Yes. It could have easily been a 10 out of 10 itself, but I needed to justify my 9 out of 10 with all of the above that I talked about. I absolutely love this game. Every single one of you should buy it. Spend your hard earned money on this because there are so few games out this like they're at this quality level. Even if you don't like westerns, own the game. I've gotten so many hours out of it. Yes, even with the horse ride padding taken out, it is still so many hours of enjoyment and so many more yet to come. Until then, partners, I'll see you guys on the next Angry Joe Show. Yeehaw! Red Dead Redemption 2 is fucking awesome! Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed. Bloopers coming up after this. Just wanted to say sorry it took me so long to do it. Didn't want to rush that one, uh, but I hope you enjoyed. If you did, why not consider getting some merchandise? Some AJSA merchandise hoodie. Perfect weather for it, right? <laughs> and if you can't do that, then just hit the like button. Please support our show. Hit the sub button. Maybe finally ding our dong. <laughs> uh, but thank you so much for watching. And I can't wait to get to the rest of the stuff this month. It's going to be a busy month. And yeah. Okay. Well, I hope you enjoy these little bloopers. And we will see you on the next one. Bye, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Shit is harder.
harder than it looks. Oh, uh, yeah, it is. <laughs> Let, Let me rewrite all the ring dang do, the ring dang do. Now, now what is that? It's, it's all around, around like a pussy cat. Like <laughs> Joe, you look like you have one boob. Can you fix your one boob? Oh, it's it's that, that, that's you. God damn it! Yo, you gotta redo it. Fix your boobs! Make <laughs> <it all around. laughs> <laughs> 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 <